Welcome back to another Shrine Breaker video. We're going to be going over uh, PTA. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the whole Breaker Rush with the PTA combo. So when you land uh, PTA in uh, fully pocket, what's going to happen is you're going to deal more damage from all sources. What that's going to mean with the whole Breaker Rush is the Canyon is going to deal more damage to the target. Theo ends the game. Keep, keep fucking stalling their backs. Stall the backs. Stop the ports. Stop the ports. Stop the ports. Stop the ports. Arthia! All right, now we're into the game. We're the versus uh, Aatrox here, uh, which is. Uh, it's an okay matchup. It's it's not too hard. It's it can be hard. It depends. He does a lot of damage. He's, he's got a lot of uh, ways to stop Volley Bear from getting close. Um, so you have to play around his uh, Q ability that spams about three times, <laughs> and he has a dash, uh, and he has an ability that can pull you towards the center, which allows him to to knock the the hell out of you with the Q uh, ability that he has. So you got to be careful there. Um, so we're, we're doing the classic, we're starting out with the, uh, the Dorn's Ring, with the E, and using the passive to clear the wave, uh, and then we're gonna go, uh, either W or Q, second, it doesn't really matter. I'm probably gonna pick, uh, Q here, because I wanna be able to get inside of his first Q, and try to land a Q and E combo on him, if I can, but, really, you just wanna focus on clearing the wave. After that, you want to ward this bush so you can see if the jungle is coming. Um, I have everything turned on here so you can see at the map exactly where he's at. I don't see none of this happening, but you can see why I would want to ward there. You can see some of his uh, abilities are pretty great, right? So I'm taking quite a bit of damage, but it's okay. Just looking to find. No big deal. Uh, so right here, I see him. It walk right past here, and I also get a one in two. I just go in this bush, and I just recall. Since I got the wave shove. Um, the reason why I do that is because uh, Wukong's going to be wasting his time if he, if he stays top. So if he sees that I'm not there, he, he's just going to go ahead and move on with his life. He's going to go mid, and he's going to go for the... The other uh, scuttle crab here. Um, so now we got our boots. So what I'm looking to rush is I'm actually going steel caps. Um, I usually go with Swifties, and well, technically I usually go uh, Tiamat, or uh, or, or I go um, Recurve Bow. I usually go Titanic Rush, uh, Nash's Rush, right? But this is different. This is a different gameplay. We're going for Hallbreaker Rush with a PTA combo. That's what we're doing. Um, so that so that being said, uh, it's okay to rush boots here. And the reason why we're going with uh, Steel Cap, it's really good at, uh, versus Aatrox. And, um, you know, we're going to have Holly Hall, the Hallbreaker, which is going to have armor and MR, magic resist. So having all that resistance is just really good on top of PTA damage. Alright, he's really low here, and I, I kind of want to dive him, but it's kind of risky with all the knockups and shit. I really don't want to fail. <laughs> so I try to get him the best I can here. He's doing a good job. I wish I, I, wish I had six here. It, it would have been an easy kill. So no big deal. I just back off. Then so go back. Push his wave in, and then I'll go back. He TP'd. Alright. Now we're sick. Um, 
So I got uh, skill caps now, so this is very good. And the reason why you want to rush the boots against Aatrox is you want to be able to dodge his Q very easily. So now that we have that advantage, it's going to make it easier to make trades against them. Killing screen. Go all in right here. Get as much as I can. That's a lot of. That's a good trade there. Um. So, good job warning me here. Galio is looking to make a play here, so I see that right away. Whenever you get a champion like this in mid lane, um, that can you know travel a great distance with the ult. Uh, just want to back off, not risk anything. And you can tell by um, the behavior of your target too. If they're walking at you for no reason at all, they're trying to bait it. So try not to fall for that. Because it makes no sense why why would it Aatrox walk at you in this? Like his health being like this, why would he walk at you? You know what I mean? Do you see him? Look like he's trying. And watch this. He's going to actually check this bush. Watch. <laughs> See, so I know this. So I, I'm backing off here. <laughs> it's just crazy. He's wasting a lot of time here. And that's fine. I go back because... I want him to keep wasting his time, so he finally shows up playing that time. Um, it's not a big deal, and uh, now I have uh, a longsword, so I got damage. Dodge the, uh, the ability there so I don't get pulled in. He's dead. I got my ghost. So we push this wave. We take a plate and we back off. Uh, I see the jungler here. So that's going to give us a phase. A phase here. So we're going to build that into uh, Hall Baker. So we're probably going to get the pickaxe uh, next and then uh, should be able to get Hall Baker after that. That's another thing. When you get the boot, you can walk out of that ability so you don't get pulled in. Because that's where he lands the most of his Qs. When you get pulled into that ability. So going to our boots first is actually pretty good. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hide here and then just let uh, her go in here. And now we can pull on dive here. There we go. Okay, so now we'll be able to get uh, another plate. Should be able to get one more plate here. There we go. Lost the dragon over there. Oh, that, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. All right, so now you can see here I got the axe now. Notice he got boots too, as well, and he's also got ability right here. So he's gonna be able to spam his Q a little, a little bit more. So we gotta be careful, and he also has movement B to kinda like position his Q against me a little better. So you gotta be able to walk to the side to get out of that. Current plating will soon fall. I'm just killing time here. I'm trying to farm up and get Hall, Hall Baker at this point. Not looking to kill him. Alright, let's rewind that for a bit. So, you can see they're coming for me here. I did not know that. <laughs> so, so, I was lucky to get out of that. 
And as soon as I saw him, I go down my ult. So, uh, Galio just wasted his ult here. And, um, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty, uh, big deal here. So that's fine. So all I'm gonna do right now is just chill. Take, take the wave and, and get my whole bike. Because I know uh, Wukong uh, in here taking everything, so. And there we go, I got the Holly Hall. Boom. So this is big, so every time the canyon wave uh, uh, shows up like this, this is the, ca the canyon right here. You want to pop that and run up to the tower and, and start hitting it. Every single one of these towers. This one, this one, and then we're going to go pot and uh, take this one out and maybe this one. Alright, so they're fighting over the rift here. Got it. Move on. Go back to farming. Teleport. Alright, there's, the there's the canyon wave, so we're going to try to fight on this one. Right, right here. We're going to deal extra damage there. Surprisingly, he's, he's dealing actually quite a bit of damage. But what he has. You know what I mean? We'll get him now. I'm going to take this tower. I don't care about him. Yeah, okay, I will take this tower. Big money. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna start working on Iceborn. Iceborn's a, a big counter to uh, Aatrox. He's not gonna be able to move at all and spam his abilities. We're gonna be able to stay close to him. Almost like the same. Uh, we'll hold up. So I ghost up to him. I should be able to kill him here. Got ignite on him. He's not gonna be able to escape. Got him. Unfortunately, he still got that tower. So. All right. So we got the canyon wave. So we should be able to push this. Take this whole tower. Doesn't matter if he's here. So Hulkbreaker gives you movement speed, by the way. So. You can see how fast we are here. Easy escape. Take the scuttle crab. Go back. Uh, I actually needed a little bit more gold for um, ice one, so I'm just gonna do the uh, grump here. All right. Big bear time. Baron's up. And at this point. Um, my tower is not standing anymore here, and I've already taken these two, so now it's time to go bot lane. So we're gonna put the pressure in the bot lane here with the canyon. Take that down. And they can pretty much do Baron uh, at this point right now, since I'm pressuring top. I could flank here if I want to, but I'm actually just going to keep pushing. Alright, so watch this. You go right here in the fog of war. He's going to go over here and try to get this wave. I'm going to kill him. Oh. Alright, I got him. Got my ghost. Easy kill. And right there is a Baron Call. As soon as the monkey dies, everybody, that, that should be like a alert right there, telling everybody it's Baron time. But instead, everybody's taking their, their time here, and I don't understand why. And eventually they, they go, but they, they don't do it. <laughs> so it's like, why are they taking so long? It's too late now. So that's just stuff that, you know, people don't understand. Stay here and keep the pressure, even though the dragon's up here. It doesn't matter. I don't care about being here. I don't care about the dragon. All I care about is putting pressure on the map. Oh. 
Alright, so I'm telling everybody to go Baron. Just go, go Baron. I'm here. Putting pressure. Because everybody's going to be here trying to stop me. Trying to tell him to do it. They're doing it, but it turns out it looks like they're too weak to do it. They're kind of squishy. So, so well, whatever. So um, they backing off the Baron. I went ahead and took this tower, and uh, I'm waiting for the wave to come up. So got the uh, canyon here. The so walk up. We're gonna get the, the inhibitor. So now that we have that, we can back off. And yeah, I'm not gonna be able to catch you. Storm. All right, so I asked what's up and why, why no one's doing the Baron. They said they can't do it without me. They need someone to tank it. I was like, okay, fuck it. I'll do it right now. Let's go. I'll do it right now. Let's go. <laughs> so I go straight to the Baron. I don't give a shit because the reason why is that they have so much pressure here that they got to worry about. Um, so they're not gonna be at the, the Baron end. Even if they do, who cares? Like, at least we'll get the Baron over with. Um, so we don't have to worry about it. So we take that. And I go back right away. And I tell my team to go mid and pressure and top the pressure. I got the bot lane because I got the Jack Supers. And I got the Holy Hall, so. Let's take a look at what I got. So I got Titanic. So this is all you need to break a game right here. This, this is all you need. I don't know why she's here. Like, I keep pinging her off. You know, I got the Hallbreaker. Get out of Get out of my way. So all we're doing here is putting pressure and waiting for them to take this power. That's all we're doing. Using the buff. The Baron buff and the Holy buff. You know, try to go in here and act like you're going in, but you're not. So we'll be able to take that. Again, I don't know why they're walking towards me. There's nothing. I got the whole place to stay away from. Alright, so we back off here. But I'm going to continue to put the pressure because I have everything I need. This is a shine breaker moment right here. Everybody's gonna be focused on uh, fighting here. So this is the perfect window. They don't see me in the target world. Now they do, because the tower. Oh. And then, you know, demolish on this tower, and there's a bunch of minions, you know, help you with the rest of it. The game's over. <laughs> he, he's going back, whatever. It, it's all oh, oh, teleport, what's that gonna do? I'm not gonna end it just yet. I'm just gonna kind of drop that different back. You know, use my summer spells, and just, Wait for them to try to stop me. <laughs> oh. And you can see here, I got four kills, and the game ended at uh, what uh, 29 minutes? Not too bad. I could do it sooner. Um, we're decent on gold here. Atrox is a, a little behind. Uh, overall, pretty good. Uh, the only one. That, higher than me was uh caitlin but you know and the most important thing isn't damage just right here doesn't matter you do damage you know this all this means is how many champions you're hitting in the game that's just it <laughs> so what you want to look at is tower damage putting that pressure on the map objectives you can see i'm i'm the best here obviously wukong was doing a good job on the objectives but unfortunately it wasn't paying off because my pressure was too too heavy. And they have it. There's the runes. Uh, we ended this game uh, fairly early. That's what I like to do. The overgrowth is going to give you like another item worth of uh, health. That's going to get stronger, you know, over the course of the game. And especially with a full build. Uh, it's just going to make Demolish incredibly powerful. 
and all this attack speed is going to make up for not having, you know, any attack speed. Uh, usually, like, AP items give you quite a bit of uh, attack speed because of your passive. So having Alacrity is a big deal on those towers, uh, with the Titanic especially. Triumph, you know, having that extra gold uh, can be nice when you execute a target. And most importantly, uh, when you're fighting one versus two, you can kill one, get restore your health, in combination with your W heal and uh, take down the next target. So yeah, that's uh, PTA. Hallbreaker Rush combination. It's a lot of fun to play. Uh, full build, what I would be doing here is I would be going uh, Force of Nature next because, you know, you got the damage reduction. You got armor here. Force of Nature is going to add on more movement speed, including the Hallbreaker. And then the last item can be whatever you want. Uh, I would probably go with Dead Man's. Just go all the movement speed you can. Uh, but really, you can you can pick whatever. You can go Steel Axe. Um, it, it's up to you. You can go Zanya's. It, it, last item's kind of a freebie, you know? So, that's that.